Welcome to the Empire Brothers, this is and welcome to a new playthrough of the Knights of Honor 2 Sovereign game that just recently came out, where I know I've been wanting to try and test this out, seeing as how this is very similar to War, uh, Total War and Paradox, and it's kind of a weird mismatch that I wanted to try out. So I have, a I have a new idea here for a campaign idea, where I'm going to be occasionally maybe trying to play some little scenarios in this game, have a small little goal, singular little video that is kind of a new take and some new way, a new way to have some content on my channel that's a little bit different than what I normally do. So if you guys are enjoying this type of content and you want to see more of it, let me know down in the comments down below uh, so you guys can kind of like leave scenarios you guys are interested in and possibly want to see. Like today, I want to start off with Venice. I want to, I like the idea of I can set up a minor victory condition and say, like, hey, this is the main focus I'm doing. It's like, hey, I want to be rich as shit. That's my goal. Just have a lot of money and try and rule the world through machinations of cash. That's my idea, where basically we'll start out, I would say, the 1100, uh, 10 AD uh, uh, scenario, and we will, technically it doesn't matter with Venice at this stage, because they're currently just a singular region anyway, so it does not matter if I select either controlling a kingdom or a province. And so what I want to try and do is see, how can we fare as Venice here? I've been playtesting a little bit here. I've actually been having a lot of fun trying to play with a merchant tile uh, kind of mentality where I'm not aggressive. It's just me really focusing on my own shit and be like, hey, guys, please just leave me the fuck alone so I can do my stuff. That's kind of the idea where we like, okay, right now I actually start out with a character that's actually probably pretty good to try and be aggressive if I really want to. Because your king, so far from my understanding, um, he is always waiting. really good at leveling up, and he'll get the max a out of anything. A diplomatic message has arrived. Uh, I'm gonna, so you can read through these here. Uh, I will be le listening to all these, though. I will want to trade. This is, this is with Bavaria. At the moment, um, I'll be able to get up to like about two trade uh, routes going right now with how uh, how I'm doing early on, um, which we're definitely going to take advantage of. I will gladly accept some trade with Bavaria. The size of the country improved. doesn't seem to matter too much initially, at least. Um, another view. person, because like if I just look at relations for me, Genoa likes me. Um, they're actually pretty friendly towards me. Germany does not like me. I kind of want to try and swing it the other way, though, I don't mind pissing off Genoa. Genoa, I think, is somebody that I kind of want to try and conquer at some point and have their land. Um, and so I actually like the idea of me trying to talk with, hey, Germany, hello. I want to try and offer you guys a trade agreement. Uh, I will never do business with... Uh, okay, never mind. I guess I'm not going to be able to get some trade with you. Um, another person I want to try and talk to... I guess I'll just talk to Genoa. I guess we'll kind of switch our thoughts up here. So I'll actually talk to Genoa instead. I think they'll be more willing to accept... Uh, oh, no, am I already trading with you guys? Oh, I guess I'm already trading with you guys. Okay, because then what we'll be doing is, once I go back to my own area, we'll use my money to get some an early on merchants. So we want oh, some uh, knights that we're using, or basically our characters that we have control over and we get to do things with. Um, I need merchants, so I can... Yeah, I am trading with Bavaria and Genoa right now. I actually make quite a bit from them. Uh, 22 from Genoa, 20 from Bavaria. Gladly. So let's start I with Genoa. For profit. And then I should have enough to be able to get a second guy. Let me unpause this again. Um, we should be able to get a second I'm guy, and disposal, you will Lord. trade with Bavaria for us. Export that way we will double the amount nature. of money we're making immediately. And we can get our merchants to start liking us. I really do like how it's a small little... We'll be, we will primarily be focusing just on economy initially. I'll try and be more defensive with a lot of areas where I don't want to try and be at war a lot. I don't want to be pulled into wars a lot, I mean. And I want to have it so that for the most part, we will try and be more defensive, I would say. So uh, one of the first things that I want to try and get, especially... Let's see, so we have some unique things that Our we have around route here. Is established. Um, ooh, viticulture. Because there are some unique buildings you can always grab, and there's the generic ones you can get anywhere. Um, I know we're going to want to harbor first trade deal in is done. Venice. This just gives us more food uh, right now and gives us a little bit more trade. Um, but at the moment, it will not give us enough that we could actually have another trade route until we upgrade it. I'm going to see. Let's see. So this stuff would give me more money. It gives me more food, too. This also lets me get some more trade. Uh, more money. Ooh, that'd be really nice. Yeah, I think we're going to probably be getting... I need to get the trade resource barrels. I need to get the trade resource barrels, though, to be able to get the most out of this, because that would do a lot. That would give me... Let's see, so... They give me up to five more trade at this point in time. 
And then trade instead with Genoa, yes. And with Bavaria, yes. I know we will be wanting to try and get um, a barracks to make sure we can actually get some basic units for us. So that even if anybody wants to try and attack us, they're going to be pushed back. That's the hope, at least. I think initially, we could also get a market square. We could try that out. Because that'll give us some money. Uh, also, we will need more of these books. These books allow us to kind of upgrade our characters more. So we want to make sure we do have a lot of those. And first Respect and foremost, I should actually try and rank up my lord. So he, since he's my king, he can get the most out of all of these since he'll be able to be level 3 in pretty much anything he selects. So he is, um, he is a marshal. So he is a very uh, military-focused character. So if we want to actually expand, he would not be a bad person to do it with. Because he could get a lot of extra damage in here. Um, siege, the, honestly, the Siegecraft stuff is not that bad. Ooh, actually, no, because there's a lot of mountains right here. I'm actually going to think I'm going to go with the Field Tactician. New tactics. Field Tactician would These be nice. Be useful. Navigation. Ooh, more morale at sea, naval strength, character level, ship level. That's not bad. Um, strategy. We've been, like, we do have some castles around here. Not a lot, though. Um... Cost for reducing for refilling squads will be nice because we are probably going to take quite a bit of damage. So we'll probably try and save up and get that next. We can speed this up here as I'm just going to be trying to build my stuff up right now. I do think. Ooh, get hill forts. I do think we're going to get the white the viticulture though. I think this is not a bad idea because it's a unique uh, resource we have around here. So we can build that. I would say we want to grab that. We don't have enough money for another thing just yet, or at least we can only build one thing at a time, but I know we're going to want to get the housing. We want to make sure we can have uh, a large amount of people in here. For us, we've got monasteries, we've got crop farms, coastal settlements, hills and mountains, some wine, and some sheep. So those are the resources we have. I do want to fi figure out who has barrels, because I would love to be able to get barrels ac uh, the new for building access. Has been finished, sire. Salt, that's not what matters to us. But we'll grab that. It costs uh, 1200 for a barracks. We're not going to grab that right now. I do kind of want the market square. Because that does give us a lot of bonuses too. We don't have any villages in here though. We actually have more crop farms. So it would not be bad for us to get one of these. Because we could grab a crop farm here. A windmill. Yeah, we'd get more money from having the windmill. But we need the crop farm be, uh, initially. So I think... Let's first get a barracks, just to make sure we at least have something. Because what I'm going to want to make sure I do is I have my manpower here, my kingdom levies, that I'm probably going to want to make sure we occasionally just keep building and recruiting units. So we have a good, nice garrison of some basic units, probably some archers. Archers are, so far from my testing, a Our very nice unit to try to and utilize. Princess. Oh man, I actually start out properly married. <laughs> some characters I've tried don't start out married, and it takes me forever to get a kid. Um, a new construction has been finished, my lord. So we do actually have uh, Dogressa Matalda. And now we have my first uh, pr first princess, Princess Flora. Um, so that is who I'm going to have on for my uh, my children. Um, I do think, though. So we'll be grabbing... I think for right now, basically we'll be doing... I do want a harbor. That just gives us more food. And we don't have access to exporting food just yet. Right? Or occasionally you'll ask me if I want to export food to people. From what I've seen. Because um, exporting food would not be a message. bad way to get money. Let's see, who is this? This is from Genoa. Let's see. Um, let's see. Do you want to crash back? We would like 800 go coins for that. Uh, I'm going to say let me think, so I'm never actually rejecting it and just continuously leaving them on red and just never committing to anything until I am actually ready to say, sure, I'll accept that. Why not? Um, but I think you guys... Just give us a little bit more trade. A little bit more, and I know this thing can give me a little bit more if we just upgrade this. Only gives me plus one, because I need to have... It's usually multiples of ten to just have straight trade routes. So we do want to try and grab more of those, but I think we'll have it. So we can grab the harbor. No, I want to get the crop rotation. We get more out of that from this windmill. We don't have charcoal, though. That's an issue. We don't have charcoal. We don't have iron or oxes here, either. The docks, though, yeah, we can't upgrade those fully either. I want them. If we don't have ports, it's going to feel really weird as Venice, though, too. Otherwise, oh, no, actually, the sheep farm. Sheep farm also gives us more trade. And we can do, actually, all of those. We can do everything there is for a sheep farm. 
So we don't need to have any additional resources for that. So we can just grab all those. I do want to have it here so you guys will go to Fletcher. So we can at least have some sort of archery uh, or some sort of units built up. And I will slowly gather some sort of garrison here. Okay, there we go. We've got the sheep farm now. Um, we have also now a trade opportunity to shun a merchant. This would be um, from Barcelona. We try and sh shift the blame onto them. Not a great chance. I'm going to say no for right now. Um, we'll say no for that one. We have a chance for... Uh, so here's an opportunity for us to export food to Bavaria. We actually have quite a bit of food right now, so gladly. So we'll be able to do that, and we will... So upkeep. Uh, do you have enough for that? I think we technically don't have enough for that. Uh, if you let me. No, it won't let me. Okay. So we have to say... We'll have to forget this opportunity. I would want to export food right now, but we can't, and not at the moment at least. Uh, and now, we do have the Fletchers, so what we'll do is, again, try and just have it so occasionally we're going to just recruit some bowmen around here. Just to make sure we slowly but surely gather some forces around here that even if they're not going to be aggressive, we will have something to defend us with. Uh, and then I've now... Oh, so we built up the wine, the Great Press. Uh, this will give me a little bit more trade and some more food if we get the sun drying. Um, this needs barrels to be able to upgrade that more. I would say we'll avoid that for right now. This gives me some happiness and some more trade. I would need to get... So that was going to be plus two. This gives me more food. This gives me some more happiness. And the happiness right now, that's stability. I actually still don't know where the stat is for happiness and where that is. I know we need it to make sure that they don't want to just dry and rebel for me. So we'll have to be careful about that. But I would say we'll hold off on any of those upgrades for right now. I think I need housing. Because the population does... We don't have any villages, which is the issue. Population growth in town. In town. Fame and govern. And then in town. Um, militia building? I think not. I think we're just going to grab this. Yeah, no, this actually still gives us more people, too. It's definitely nothing for... We can probably just avoid that one because we don't have any villages. And we don't want to have those uh, that negative ha unhappiness. But I will grab this. We also need more books. We greatly need more books because we're only gaining uh, one per whatever it is. We have an income of one of it. So we don't get a whole lot of books right now. And so we'll need to try and grab something. Because I can now upgrade you, but I really want to upgrade my merchants so you guys make more money. Because right now you guys are trading. You're doing what you can. Uh, you're both making me about 20-ish 20, 20 gold per turn right now, which isn't bad. But it could be more. Also, we will want to keep making sure we upgrade finished, um, our crown authority. This kind of seems to just give us a nice little bonus to income and then defenses and stability. Um, that's what it seems like, at least. Because otherwise, it feels like right now for me, from what I've been able to play this, I've been, playing, I've been able to play this like three or four showers. Um, I want to make sure I, get, I do actions that make everybody like me, because those give little bonuses. Like, hey, if I make the merchants really like me, they make me more money and more profit from colonies and other things. I still don't know how to set up colonies and crap. Um, I can't expand trade. <laughs> I want to do these things, but I can't do these things, not just yet at least. Um, here, though, I do want to get the scribe offices, because we need to make sure we're making more books right now. Because you're not a advice. good agent, a good hero for uh, gathering books. Uh, that'd be the kind of scribes or diplomats. Um, cost for medicine is definitely the one I want to grab right now, because that'll make it so we also have more in town while An you're um, governing and it reduces the Lord. cost of refilling units so i'll now gladly have you grab that let's see so we could also have it so infantry and spearman defense would not be bad cap tactics let's see so we could get some more siege attack i kind of want that although having better spearmen would not be bad especially because if i remember die for my oh, yeah, kingdom don't have enough books. I'm used to having but a shit on that. Do that again i can't expand my trade right now we don't have the resources We'll have to take some time for that. In the meantime, we'll need to just kind of wait, gather some... We actually have quite a bit of money, um, which I would say right now... We've got the scribed offices. I'm going to ignore that. I want to grab... Yeah, a both of these are message has arrived. We'll get some inns. That'll give me a little bit more trade. And if I can get this one, then I'll, I'll actually be able to take advantage of that. Now, this is... Let's see. So, Genoa demands us to attack Germany. Um, No. <laughs> I'm not fighting Germany right now. The you don't see how large they are? Every one of these guys, is, or for most of them, um, is basically... Uh, yeah, they have so many vassals. So Bavaria, Saxony, Holland, uh, Bohemia, Carinthia, uh, Carinthia uh, and then also Meissen. All people that are under them. I don't want to fuck with those guys right now. We're a simpy... Simple... Simpy... 
<laughs> simple little trading uh, city. That's, oh god, that's misspoken. Um, that is just trying to build ourselves up and make a lot of money. That's all we're trying to do. Eventually, I will want to try and take some land from, like, Bologna would maybe not be a bad place for me to get. Anything that, let's see, so limestone, marble, forest, saltpeter. Basically, I want to just look at areas that are nearby us. Let's see, you guys have herbs and spices, vines, sulfur deposits. Milan has salt deposits in hills and mountains. I still don't know if I can buy land. I'm definitely going to be trying to test that out at some point if we have more money. But right now, I think we're going to keep just focusing on building up the stuff that we have around here. So, like, I can get some courthouses. That will then give me over the um, 30 amount, so then I can actually start doing a little bit more with our merchants. Let's see, so Savoy also wants me to attack Germany. Again, let me think about it and just never actually commit anything until we're forced to. Until people are forced to attack me, I'm going to do nothing. And just, except just keep upgrading my a shit. Upgrade has As been right now, sir. we are making a decent amount of money. Um, I can get the butchers too. That gives me a little bit more food. But I want to keep focusing on things that give me more money for right now. So like the wool weavers are not a bad thing. You guys will have that amount of any second now. There we go. So keep going focusing that. Because right now, there's no point to not upgrade all the stuff around with the sheep farming. Because the sheep farms actually make me quite a bit of money. Oh, we have a chance to uh, expand our trade. So this will be expand our trade into Bavaria to medium scale trade. I will gladly do Spend that because we now no actually have enough. In my deal, I'm curious, and now actually that's you. So, um, well, let me see if there's anything I can get you from food exports. Increase your base income, not a bad thing. Um, increase the relations per minute while on a mission. So that would actually make Bavaria fucking love me. Um, ideally, while you're sitting there. This would technically make it so we'd make a little bit more money. I don't think he... It was to Genoa, I believe, who was, we were exporting food to. So I would actually say... We've um, pleased our merchants, sire. I so arranged what you requested, do, uh, my lord. Courtesy. That gives me an idea. Because that makes it so you should be improving relations with them while you're trading. Um, and then, then I'll have to save up a little bit more. So yeah, we succeeded on that. So our trade has improved with them now. So now you are making me 32 as opposed to 20 there. So you're making a little bit more money there. I need to keep getting more people here. So I've noticed an opportunity that I feel like I want to take advantage of. Because right now, Genoa is actually kicking Germany's ass down here. I kind of want to try and take advantage of this to take uh, Bologna. So I think, hey, 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 hey. Political view. Genoa, my friends. Uh, I want to offer, I want to support you in this war between you and Germany. I'm going to join on in. Message has arrived. So I will join in and help you. Because I love, the one of the things that I really appreciate about this game is, as opposed to like what Paradox does, um, I can be a bit more of an asshole and command? just conquer what I want to. Also, I am going to grab the yeah, Spearman and, uh, and Infantry Defense. Now I am so upgrade that stuff. And, um, and then additional success chance for establishing an order. Yes, that's where we're going to definitely want to grab you next. My troops so for waiting. right now, uh, I want you to call an army. Start it up in uh, Venice. Once. What is have your you command? form up in Home, Venice, sweet and then what we'll have you do is start gathering a force. So I'll grab you some spearmen, and then I want to grab some archers, and I'll grab a couple more guys that were already in the army. Um, I think I kind of want to wait one more turn. I want to get four of each, I'd probably say. So we need to wait until I have enough to get a little bit more. I could actually also get, so I can get a supply wagon, I can get some stuff to try and help us out in our assault. I'm kind of tempted to almost maybe get the additional troops just so we have more guys. But I don't have enough money to get any siege equipment just yet. Um, let's see, an opportunity to shun a merchant. Not a really high for success chance, so I'm going to say no. Um, let's forget that opportunity for right now. We're just trying to save up enough um, troops so that we can start making our way down. I want to just try and see if I can siege this out and just let them have me... <laughs> have them let me basically just steal Bologna while they're just like going about taking these castles. Well, I'm trying to take actual lands that will benefit me. Uh, in the long run, because I don't have, I don't need to make any sort of like Casas Belli to like keep the region. If I win that siege, that area is mine. That's what I want. So let me get another spearman. That way I have four of each unit. And then let's take my army. Let's take out my king. I'll send you down and have you start sieging this uh, the city of Bologna. We can also assault it ourselves too. I actually one of the main things. Is I think this is like a very interesting blend between Total War and between um, Paradox games. Just like that it's nice no little one. balance. So you guys will be sieging here. I have to wait until you guys break down the defenses to at least 50% before I can assault it myself. So we'll have to leave you guys there for now. And hopefully, 
They don't decide to do anything towards me, and they just let me keep trying to attack them while we're at it. I'm gonna have you keep building uh, upgrades while we can. Um, the next upgrade to improve my castle, because I'm trying to keep doing this, I want to make sure that the fortifications around Venice are mm, supreme and uh, impenetrable, if we're going to be going with this idea. Because hopefully, I just want to... If, if I can at least take Bologna and at least have a second city, I will be a far stronger area. We're only going to do this right now because... I, I still want to focus on money, primarily being very defensive and opportunistic, I would say. It's focusing on opportunistic. I'm not a warmonger. Genoa started this war. I'm just dogpiling in, because why the fuck not? Because at the moment, the strength rank is insane against Germany right now. So I'm just going to try and take advantage of it, because it's an easy win. Technically, like there's a big fight up here, but... I don't have to deal with that. Ooh, Bavaria wants to have their prince marry my princess. We've had some good dealings with you. Why not? The queen you guys really has love given me right birth now. to so a healthy gladly. prince. Also, I do think for right now, I could upgrade. I, I do want to keep putting more stuff into this, but I think we're going to hold off on that and save up the money. Um, I want to get siege workshops because sieges take for fucking ever. So we're going to be sitting here for a very long time, slowly whittling them down without any siege equipment. So what I want to try and do is we can Many grab a second army that will make their way the over and uh, bring them over as reinforcements to help us out. We now also have a new prince. Um, let's see, this prince, he has a really good idea. Oh, he's going to be probably best for warfare, so we'll have him be a marshal, similar to his father. So I'll educate you. I don't want to use up all my money right now, so we'll just educate you just More for now. More troops have come to aid in our battle. Oh, yeah. Thank you, guys. Actually, I don't even know if I'm going to really need to assault it right now. The morale is plummeting with you guys. Now that I'm going to have that support, uh, we just need to get you guys, because right now they're at, uh, yeah, they're at about 75%. We need to get it down to 50 before we can actually assault it myself. And if it gives me some time, I'll just try and get some proper, like, actual siege equipment to join us, too. I don't even think that's actually going to happen. Because of my reinforcements, so much damage is being dealt to the defenders that I don't need help. I don't need any siege equipment. I want to see what's in your army. Because I want to see why you guys are doing so much damage. I think it just might be because we outnumber them so much. But they're just about to give up the city. I think this should go to me Sire, since I started we've conquered it. Another yes. Province. Yes, it did. So now, I get to control this area. So now, we're, we're going to have to establish order here. Uh, it will take some time. Because right now, it's still loyal to Germany right now. Um, I do have enough men that I can try and succeed on it. Um, I think I'm going to wait. Oh, man, he's gr my, my general is now grizzled and old. Um, oh, what's that ability that yes. I saw there? So stab oh, that's just the established sort of thing. So I want to level him up again. Uh, I would say, yeah, give the additional chance to establish order. Aboard. So grab no that, and fight. then you should have a much higher chance to succeed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Went from like 55 now to 89%, so we can now just establish order. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Let's see. So, you sure want to subdue their population? This will have the following effects. <laughs> so. Eh, yeah, I'll, I'll really. That's, uh, Infidels, beware. Maybe hold a off on that. That's going to immediately coming. piss off uh, Germany. Let's see. Shun Merchant. Um, now, if it's less than 50%, I don't want to say. I'm not going to try that. We have another crusade against Tunisia. I don't know how to join in crusades. I haven't tried in the that. Name of God. But I can see the army the that is here. The Holy Crusade glory. just going on over down there. That's wait, that's the where world is that? at your finger. Wait, so wait, wait, what? Oh, no, that's just where you guys are going from. Because it said Tunisia. Uh, yeah, Tunisia. Okay, so they're going to be wake, making their way all the way down here to actually do A anything. A diplomatic message has arrived. Let's see. What do you want to talk about, Bavaria? Um... Let's see, we are really starting to grow our patch with Venice. I'm going to say, let me think about it, because I don't want to spend uh, 1200 to just have you guys do that. I am going to, again, hold... I'm going to hold off for now. Hold off on subduing this region. I do want... I want to see if this will, like, slowly go over to me on its own. I don't know if it does, but I'm curious. Because I want this region, but also I don't know if I want to piss off Germany that much just yet as, uh... Like, I know they're not doing that bad here. But that's because uh, the enemies are the ones that are kicking all their asses. Or my allies or my friends are the ones that are kicking their asses. And not me. But money. <laughs> Having another region. Because this one has uh, crop farms, castle cities, and then it has uh, a lot of coastal settlements. So this would be a really good area to put a, a port. And it has a lot of materials that I do not have. 
Eh, fuck it. Establish order. Yeah, Jeremy's gonna be At pissed, once. but do it. Just do it. We must have all the money. <laughs> this is like, I literally, I lost nothing for this. I a am just going to be a very greedy. Oh, a foreign loyalist rebellion uh, plagues run. our provinces. Uh, can you guys stop? Oh, he's currently yeah, okay. I have to wait until you're done with your activity. Pope is dead. Okay. Uh, that's not good. And then there's a rebellion army that spawned. We because lost an going. ally in our war. Oh, they left the war against Germany. Okay. Well, I'm gonna hope this uh, the suppression army approved of our recent actions. Nice. An upgrade has been completed, my lord. Let's see. Then I've got the okay. But yeah. Hopefully, uh, the suppression is successful, so then we can crush this rebellion. I think that will be when I properly try and showcase an actual battle. Because it's about to be done. Right about. Disorder there we has go. ceased okay. in one of so our So it did cease. Uh, let's then. Oh, there's no people around here, so oh, we can at least get some more supplies. Make sure we grab some supplies. Let's take my army. Because I think this is just an army Restore of just peasants. Uh, I think... Yeah, it looks like it's just an army of peasants. Any tactical but advice. I can actually showcase a battle here. Because there is a both. So it's heavily one-sided, but I want to lead it. The enemy stands no chance. Okay, so the lawyers... Oh, these are lawyers? <laughs> yeah, no, fuck you. You are now part of the great Venetian Republic. <laughs> you will join us willingly. Uh, because there's nothing else for you here unless you join us. You will join us and help us make money galore. Yeah, I'm, I'm only going to join in when it's very opportunistic for me to fight a war. Otherwise, I really want to be very defensive. But hey, now I get to showcase the battles. These and servants of the enemy are ready well. to commit atrocities to drive us out. Our men can capture these points to secure a swift victory. You kind of hate that this kind of is always showed no matter what I'm doing in the battle. I can skip it at least, but it always gives me a little overview One of hey, these points. And our these are my forces as well. Oh man, look at that. We look really beautiful in our blue. Oh man, this is going to be fun. Because now my I lord be well is protected. moving here. My morale is really good here. So they have just a bunch of peasants. Just a lot of peasants. Um, it does seem like they are pulling, holding back. If I kill the Lord, it immediately ends the battle, which is really nice. It just instantly shatters the spearmen enemy. Ready. So my spearmen, command. let's get you guys to kind of move up here. Archers as well, get you guys to move forward too. Because they have the high ground right now, which I don't like. There we go. Yep. Yeah, yeah, still a little buggy, I would say. I must be well it's not protected. as smooth as I would like, but then again, this is not a—it's not it the looks same safe. quality as Warhammer is, I would say, but it's still fun. Yeah, they have the high ground, but they have no skirmishers. Ready to fight. So yeah, get you guys to rush in Bowman a little ready. bit closer into position. Kind of form them up. And I can zoom in. There we go. Can't get the best angles, but I can at least zoom in. They have the high ground. They should be in range of my ready archers any second now. Yep, they're there. So these are just all peasants. So they're not going to have any fun when I start shooting them. So yeah, here they unload. Slaughter the enemy as they make their way towards us. I think I'm going to want to maybe bring my cab over to the right side to help flank I'm them. I'm in charge second. Or no, we'll break this side first. We'll break the left side first. Then we can go after the Show left side. Your heels. Our foe's morale is fading. The cowards are fleeing. Let's see, you Watch guys try and us. shoot the Lord. We are on our way. Enemy troops are attacking our so leader. Yeah, let's try and focus on the Aim, enemy Lord. Because as soon as he dies, we win this, Raise and then we just run everybody down shoot. essentially. Those I guys are dead be there. Well protected. Let's, see. Run, let's get you guys to run, run around. Run. Uh, there are some Bow guys over here ready. I'd rather like to try and shoot again. This one seems to be trying to flank me. Uh, these archers, time. you are a little too close there. Reach Pull back. The is or the Lord can die immediately. Slain the enemy leader. There we go. But no, I, like I said, I think this is a nice little combo of Total War so I can have some real-time battles. They're not as nearly in-depth as Total War battles right now. But hey, it's something. I can You've take advantage of tactics with our nobility. Sire, and some slaughter my rebellions. I am happy to report that the rebel scum are gone. This order has ended We've in war. stopped the enemy war. from plundering our settlement. And our nobility no likes us a little bit more. No stability plagues some of our lands, sire. Defeated. Um, and let's see, they defeated them. Yeah, they defeated those loyalists. Rebellions have ended. And we get some money from it, too. Uh, then we have, we're going to currently have low stability here for a little I while, which battle. makes sense given the fact that we just recently conquered this area. So the established order will go down slowly. slowly. Cultural tension, I believe, will as well, and the disloyal populace um, eventually, I think, will go better, I think. 
Uh, I just need to make sure you guys actually get some people around here. But now we can start putting some money into this area too. They have some stoneworking and woodworking stuff, which I'm definitely going to want. We have gained want. a new ally in our war. I do want a harbor around here though too. I would say, although, maybe... The clergy applauds our recent actions. Because at the moment, these have more coastal them, so I'll get a lot out of the harbor. I really should build a harbor around here. So let's build a harbor. Build a harbor, I would say. I definitely want to grab the woodworking and the stone cutting stuff. Oh, especially the quarry. Oh, especially that quarry. And then, let's see. Barcelona also joined in the war against Germany. I love how everybody's just dogpiling on him. I don't want to do anything else against Germany, honestly. I'm pretty okay with just taking the one city I grabbed from them, and that's about it. I also do now have a new slot here if I have enough, get a little bit more money so I can build an additional thing. Although I think right now probably want to upgrade that because we can slowly build up this area as well. I think I'm going to ignore Florence. I could ask. I could almost try and push in there too. <laughs> be really opportunistic. Take a lot of... Actually, that'd be like all the land that Germany has Political down here. Right? View. Yeah, that would actually be all the land Germany has down here. Kind of tempted, but I probably shouldn't push myself too much. I need to make sure that I can secure this area, as it's pretty peace off. with our enemies. And, and especially a lot of... Over. Oh, General actually has given birth signed that to peace. A healthy prince. Never mind. So we got a city, a singular city out of that. Ooh, this prince. Okay, so I can have this prince be a merchant. We have or, received a diplomatic mm, message. I would, I would say a merchant. Let's have you become a, new, a merchant, my son. And then, uh, for a merchant from Genoa. We have erected a new building. And then style. Croatia. Let's see. Let's see. So, trade between us. Um, I don't have another slot right now, so I'll say no, especially since you're asking for so goddamn much money. So, no. Um, I am going to just try and focus that right anyway. now. I was planning that to do we that anyway. will be focusing on trying to just improve the new land we have from Germany. I'm going to have you guys. Let's see. So, we have... I want to get the... Yeah, let's get the stone cutting... Because that is got of our knights is not governing a province. That's got some really nice stuff. Oh, I do need a governor. Yes, I do need to make sure because right now, um, no one's technically governing this area. You are actually the governor of Venice, even though your army is down here. So I want to have it. So we'll need to get a new guy. Um, uh, oh, actually, I can, I can just have you be the governor. Yeah, why not? Where can we profit? Because I think you can still do your merchant actions while doing that. So let's set you up. Let's see. So you give. Yeah, you actually get the best right now because of the courtesy stuff. Yeah. So you'll be my Only next best the governor finest goods will be produced to watch here. over that area. Oh, no. There's a new ruler of Bavaria. So I have to actually redo uh, all my uh, things I had with them. My diplomacy. Oh, that's kind of sad. They're dying so quickly. Although, my, my guy is advice. also getting pretty up there. It doesn't tell me his exact age, which is kind of interesting um, at the moment. Uh, expand trade into Genoa. Oh, I want to do it, but we don't have enough right now. Because, like, I'm slowly... Actually, uh, this, uh, if you guys give me some time to build these docks. So let me let me think about that. Because that was in Genoa, right? I am ready to trade. Yes. Because if I can get that built up, then I can definitely try and expand my trade around there. I'll have enough the time to actually has come do so. to choose our Ooh. prince's education. Prince. Let's see. So this is uh, this is my martial song. Let's see. I can get you leadership. This is my first son, right? This is my first son. Um, the field tactics would not be bad because if you came of age and took over as king, you then have the uh, level three, which would not be bad. I I would say that. Let's get you field tactics. Grab you field tactics. Let's, let's see. That is. Almost done. Yeah, no, we should have enough time. We should have enough time to be able to try and get that trade ready so that we can actually upgrade um, my... Tr expand my trade with Genoa. Sire, we've spotted mercenaries camping in our lands. Ooh, there's already a also new even upgrade some mercenaries has been completed, around here, too. Sire. A be diplomatic take message has arrived. Uh, let's see. So first and foremost, uh, it was you first. Expand the trade, trade. into general. Gold will not be spent and in uh, what is this about? So we, yeah, we do see the mercenaries. Bavaria. So let's see. So chance of defeating Byzantium. Hmm. We've already managed. To, okay, you've gotten the support of Hungary. Ooh. 
I mm. The king is dead. No, Long damn it. Live his successor. Our nobility's opinion has taken I would hate. say Cuz I would love to be able to Our take Our merchant's opinion uh, has improved. We struck a fine deal. I'd love to be able to conquer that area, but now that my now that my king died, I would have to say no. <laughs> my my son is technically leading the army. Okay, he is a martial character, but yeah, he's my new sovereign. We have dog. Uh, then Franco is going to be the new ruler. Uh, the nobility do not like that he died, and then merchants. Uh, there we go. So we succeeded in that. So we now have a medium scale trade with Genoa. The crusade has fulfilled and its holy. Tunisia goal. has been destroyed by Sicily. Nice. So he has actually succeeded in that crusade. Not bad. Oh, yeah, again, if my character, if my if my king did not just die, I probably would have joined you guys, honestly. Like, straight up. Let's see. Yeah, I have enough money to build anything there. Not right now. Because I don't have, uh, I almost have enough for this. Needs 2,300 to be able to upgrade those tanneries. I do have enough for this as well. Now give me a little bit more books. Well, actually, should I should make sure. I can upgrade you right now. Even though you're just a kid. Um, Fenrir Fire damage reduction would not be bad. Um, produced in governed towns. Ooh, that would not be bad either. More people and all more garrisons all villages. Oh, we're just price of hiring knights. I I actually kind of like the infantry tactics one. I, I'm going to grab that. Tactics. Um, I don't have enough useful. for anything more. But I do like... Yeah, logistics will probably be the one I'm going to grab for you. That's probably the one I'll grab. We have problems with the foreign population, sire. Ah, uh, another fucking rebellion spawn. How dare you? Let's see. So, I don't like that this is just led by uh, my son. But I do Rebels need to make sure their filthy that they do not deal settlement. with... Uh, or they don't sa raid my shit. So, let's get over here. Even though it's technically uh, like a six-year-old leading these forces, uh, I want you to try and join on in and help out here. I think it's heavily one-sided, so I'll actually let it uh, fight the battle man uh, with the uh, simulated fight there. Because we do have, like, this is just a bunch of peasants. We will slaughter them. I uh, just have to let you guys prepare for the fight. Also, I don't know if I should trust you to fight it while you are literally like a six-year-old or something like that. I also, I think I can have you get this right here while you're in the fight stuff. Mm. So get the I logistics. Feel wiser now. Yes, my juvenile son is coming of age. At least we get to have him do quite a bit. Our nobility's opinion has improved. Sire, rebels, our rebel army rebels have been, been defeated. We Make your way back over here. Car, known as the nobles leader. really like us We've right now. So we have a lot of public order, forces. high opinion at least, um, from the merchants, of course, army, and nobility, which actually does quite a bit. Oh, actually, I should probably increase my thing again. Uh, I don't have enough just yet. I've been able to get it a little bit higher. I need more uh, religion to actually be able to upgrade it even further at the moment, though. At once! At once! We have received a diplomatic message. Napo, my guys, let me come of age. Let me come of age, and then we can join you. But for right now, I, I can't join you guys in with uh, Byzantines. I want to, because again, I wouldn't mind coming over here. Because it seems like you guys are dogpiling on them. Oh, also, I still these rebels. Go. I'll hmm. kill you. I think we'll execute them. Oh, we'll actually increase our crown authority too. So we will receive some money. Peasants' opinion will reduce. Clerics will reduce, and nobility will increase. Um, the clerics already don't like me. It's like middle. Uh, I will. My kind of thought it will decrease if I release them. Let's see. You can also just try and add them in. I don't think I. I, I let's do this. Might be improved. Might reduce. Peasantry opinion will reduce. Um. I feel like you. You've been in prison long enough. We can release you. I don't think the other guy. No. Our crown Execute. authority has dropped. So we'll do that. Sire. We have increased our crown uh, authority, my lord. I will the opinion of our peasantry mm, has improved. Sire, barely above we have angered our peasantry. Okay, 
everybody's kind of like has a little bit more. It's at least improved a little bit. Ooh, Naples is offering trade. You know, I'll accept it. I'll, I will accept it. Uh, I don't have an extra merchant, merchant right now, but I will gladly try and accept that. Um, if I can get, I need more commerce um, to be able to try and have another trade agreement. So we need to just have it so we keep upgrading our stuff. I do want to have it, so here. I know I can get a lot of those from here, for sure. I need ink, though. I don't have ink. But if I can get some cartographers, I can get a lot there. Um, I can also get a mer another merchant square here, which... The Pope has called for a crusade. Oh, I, I actually, wow, I didn't realize that. Wait, really? Oh, those are just straight up across the board, the upgrades from those. Ooh. Yeah, because like, these upgrades are already built. Oh, man, that is very convenient. I didn't realize that. A province of ours has adopted a That's foreign cool. culture, my lord. Uh, who did? Um, hmm. I don't want that. I want you guys to be switched over to my culture. The world at your fingertips. Yeah, it's currently yeah, it's currently German. Uh, I'm hoping that will eventually go back to go to mine. Cuz this area is rather unhappy right now. I do think that we're going to want to try and do what we can to try and Sire, prove One that. of our Catholic cousins has oh. been excommunicated. Of course, I just started training you guys, you're now fucking excommunicated. Of course. Okay, well, let's just then make sure we're going to be uh, very careful and keep upgrading our defenses then. A if you guys are going to keep doing shit, defensive it's going to get you guys fucked up. Uh, camp who did? Was spotted within our lands. Okay, you're kind of going a little too fast there. Uh, we don't have enough for... Well, it's barely going to pass, so say no. Um, wait, why the fuck did Naples create a defensive pact against me? What the fuck? Why? I am no aggressor. I just want to make money. <laughs> That's all I want. Although, I wouldn't mind having all of Sicily under my control. I wouldn't mind that. But not right now. Our We're focusing on ourselves. We're going to keep increasing increased. our crown authority. A kingdom has joined an and uh, keep... pact against us. Why? Croatia, my man, you were helping us at one point. Why? Oh, also, ooh. My son has come away. Respect rage. my authority. Now. Oh, my God. I'm actually going to think of a cart and everything. We save that. Let's see. I'm going to keep giving you some upgrades. What else can we do? Um. Ooh. That would not be bad. of avoiding ever opinion drops. Ooh. I'm not gonna really be using cavalry. Not right now at least. Uh huh. I actually um, I kinda wanna get the bargain right now. Reducing We have received a diplomatic message. Yeah, reducing the um I should yeah, I just need I am so the grab best that tactician since Huckabee. And then oh don't want you to give Iron Fist just like your father. I'm gonna say no. Actually I'm gonna go with this mission. One. Oh, you don't have enough again. Impossible. Let's see. So, my mission for us uh, against Bavaria. No! Why would I attack Bavaria? Fuck you! No! I'm not gonna attack Bavaria. No! Get out of here! Even you, Genoa. Even you have joined the defensive pact. What the hell? Didn't people like Political me? View. You still like me. Naples technically kind of likes me. Like, it's somewhat positive. And now they're just like, yeah, we want to join this uh, this pact against you just in case. Like, I was never the aggressor. Sire, I don't know what you guys completed an oh, There we go. The defensive pact has finally gone away. Perfect. So now we don't have to worry about that. Because, again, I don't know why Genoa, it was Genoa, Croatia, and Naples all joined it. I'm like, guys, what the fuck did I ever do to you? I've literally just been sitting here. I took, like, one city. And I've just been developing myself since then. Uh, we've now built up a market now, market square in Bologna, so it's now doing a little bit better. Public order, um, cultural tension, tension is still there, disloyal population is still Lord, there. War has been declared uh, upon us. Oh, hi, it's, yeah, it's Germany. I'm not surprised by that. Hmm. Well, let's see if I can try and convince anybody to join me for this fight. Because who does not like Germany? The Ooh, world like at your fingertips. Let's see. So enemies, uh, they've got Burgundy, they've got Lorraine, they've got Savoy, Swabia, Luxembourg, Venice, myself. 
Let's see. Uh, the vassals, allies. So let's see. Let's try and talk to some people. Hey, uh, Burgundy, would you uh? Let's see. I'm gonna have to ask you to. Nah, that would actually to demand you to attack them. Uh, Germany. Let's see. They've got a lot of guys all over the place. Genoa. Do you want to go to war with them again? Let's see. Uh, support in war against Germany. Would you like to do this? Have to refuse. We're not effectively. Okay. So you don't want to join in. Um, let's see. Bavaria is under them, so they cannot either. Savoy. Let's see. Do you want to join in on this war? No, I can't ask you to. Because at the moment... Okay, so they haven't been able to join in. It's just me and Germany right now. Balance power-wise, strength is actually not that bad. At the moment, they haven't actually started attacking us just yet. Because I've actually got some pretty good defenses around Venice itself. I've been upgrading the shit out of my fortifications. And so it should be pretty hard for them to actually push on in there. And actually, I think we're going to expand this town. I've got the money. I'm going to expand my town. And I think... I kind of want to get the Lord's Castle. Although I could get the Royal Armory. I'd solely gather that to be able to get even better stuff. The Fort Hills, though, actually... Um, more attrition damage. And let's see, we'll be able to get watchtowers. Ah, we can adopt right. a new tradition, my lord. Actually, yeah, I actually think we should get the hill forts. Yeah, that also give us more food and people, too. So I think the hill forts would be a great thing to put in there. So get the hill forts to kind of help defend us a little bit more. And we will fight back against Germany no matter what they throw at us. Here already? Well, let's see. I think I'm going to bring my forces to bear onto these German foes. Uh, slightly one-sided for us. I'll let you guys lead the assault yourselves, because this is a pretty basic army for the most part. I saw there was half of the army is literally peasants. So, you guys can fight that, as for the most part, I don't see any... Oh, actually, is what's this force? We have no business with you. This is... Oh, that's rebels. I don't care about rebels. They don't matter to me whatsoever. And this army right here, you guys... It's about to... I wish I could kind of, like... Uh, join on in if I decide against it but no at the moment I think that was the right choice you guys are absolutely slaughtering them initially right there if hunger <laughs> seriously if Germany is just gonna be like this in our war I don't think I'm gonna have to worry I do want to try and see if I can again the main idea behind this campaign is to utilize our economic We've power an enemy army to stop slaughter the enemy or to conquer and settlement. just make a shit ton of money uh, basically dominate the world through economic uh, benefits and at the moment, if I can just, like, pay people off to just leave me alone, Let that'd be perfect, honestly. Rest. Actually, bring you castle. guys back to Bologna. I need to bring you guys back so that you can actually try and recover. So let's at recover once. those men there. And I'm just kind of curious. I should double-check again the standing between me and Germany. There's actually not that big of a difference, honestly. Uh, it's 7,000 to 12,000, which is not bad. Venice, for the most part, I don't even need to make sure you guys have a garrison to help you out. Or, like, an army to help you out, specifically. I need to make sure this area is happy. Because as long as you guys are happy down here, we should be fine. So we haven't had actually all that much going on with the war with Germany right now. A kingdom but has joined a defensive pact in Venice us. right now are trying to join the Papal States. What the fuck? Okay. This is not good. This is not good at all. Uh, also, this rebellion's about to be murdered over here. Um, at the moment, let's see. So that is the Cardinals. Is there anybody I could put on there? Hmm. I don't like that you guys. Loyal to the Papal States, 52%. We're going to have to deal with that, because if I lose Venice, that's a problem. Good. Given enough time, they saw that it's better to stay with Venice. I believe this also might be due to our uh, war exhaustion with uh, the war we have going on with Germany. They still haven't done anything else. Uh, war exhaustion down to five. I only have a war score of two. We could, if we really want to. I hate that we don't have any uh, mercenary companies right now around us. I would love to send a mercenary company up there to try and just raid some other land. Because that would be great for us right now. If I could just kind of the harass them a little bit. Because let's see. Because they control... Oh, they do control some land down. Mm -hmm. There's no point for me to not be aggressive and take that. You guys are kind of getting your asses kicked right now. 
you did decide to declare the war on me, so hey, let's take my current king. And you know what? Let's go besiege Florence. Why not? If I can get another city out of a war with them, why not? And I think Florence will be a better area than uh, Milan. We will want Milan eventually, but I would say let's push into Florence. Seems like the area is already pretty beat up from the battle they have gone, going on over here. Oh, I should remember it because I can actually... I did remember to get that. Their walls will Let's crumble. See. You guys here... Um... Lift the siege, actually. Yeah, we'll have a we'll minor morale penalty day. for a second. But... Uh, we'll don't go that way, actually. Go back to Venice, slowly Our but surely. beseech you to sign uh, for peace, oh. my lord. <laughs> They're actually offering peace. Just me threatening to uh, besiege Florence is enough to make them whimper and run. <laughs> sure, Germany, I'll accept peace. Actually, I kind of want to... No, you know, let's accept it. I could try and be a bit cheeky an and say, hey... Let me force ask for some sort of something from them in return. But I know, you know what? I think it's fine. Ooh, you have a chance to go to war with Tyrol, which is right here. So we could actually take Innsbruck. You know what? I'm going to take it. I'm going to accept it. I will join in on this war. So let's see. Swabia is pissed off. Uh, Corinthia. Oh, trade forces back from Tyrol. They are kingdom who's trying to... Okay. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Germany likes me more for that, though. Peace with our enemies. Uh, Izmir uh, does not. Uh, Croatia loves that. Germany, again, Germany fucking... Okay, this is a great Sire, way for me to get the Germans to like me. From the Pope. So, okay, a lot of good going on here. Oh. <laughs> what is this? I was going to join this. has been finished, sire. Our queen has given birth to a um, beautiful princess. Sure, I'll accept a loyal... Uh, I'll be careful. But I will accept your... The clergy applaud but, our recent so I, <laughs> so I joined in on this war and then immediately it was ended. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm not going to go to war with Tyrol. Ah, uh, beautiful. I'm now starting to trade with the Pope. With the Why the fuck not? Merchants this is the first way, first of many ways that we're going to start trying to manipulate the Pope to love us. Because now, actually, this will give me a great chance to... Uh, you're certainly busy. Because uh, this guy actually is having him increase culture in our lands, since we do need that around Bologna. Um, a lot of people are dying. I actually want to look around the map again and see what's going on. But now that we have a new uh, trade with the Pope, I am actually... Yeah, you know what? Let's have... Uh, this young merchant join us. This is actually profit? related to me. This is my brother, correct? I believe it is. So I'll have it so you'll join in on here. Definitely make sure you grab some King of these Midas traditions here to help out with the amount of money you'll be able to you. make. And I'm going to have you... Is worth uh, many see, bags I of gold. want you... Why can't I... Oh, there it is. Yeah, let's have you go trade at the Papal States. Start trying to make some money with that endeavor over there. Because so far, riches, we're doing well. Lord. Like, if I actually go These over to the Great the Powers, nations, we are ranked sixth man. in economic power, or commercial power right now, with even our tiny little two little Let cities. So, begin. we are getting there in our goal to just be rich as shit and manipulate the world through money. Because at the moment, I really like the idea of us only helping out in wars that people ask me to join them. Um, basically, we're almost kind of like a little mercenary company in some regards. Um, yes and no. But I don't see... There's no reason for me to ever want to be aggressive against people. Although I do need to look into, and I'm going to check this on my own time, if I can buy land. Ah, here we go, killing them again. Uh, Genoa wants me to join in against Germany. Gladly. Gladly. I love being an opportunistic son of a bitch, so I'll gladly join on in. Although this time, I'm going to make sure before we forget... I'm making sure we're going to actually bring some siege equipment with us. So first and foremost, let's make sure we grab a battering ram. I can't get any... No, it actually just costs more, but I would like to get a catapult too. If I save up enough money, I can get a catapult and a ram. Then, I want to at least take Florence. I technically can ask for land from factions, but more than likely they'll tell me to just fuck right off and de trying to demand an area. Unless the culture is actually stronger, in my favor. My lord. Uh, Sardina has also joined against us as well. Let's Political see. So, view. that's down there. There's no Our reason for me to go down there just yet. We'll still focus on just skills. taking Florence. That's Our my current goal. have spotted a mercenary camp. Ooh. Actually, how much? I want to test out mercenaries. Let's see. My troops are waiting. Let's see. Bring an army to buy troops. You know what? I've got this. I want to wait until we have the... Oh, why can't I? 
Oh, I don't have the Siegecraft skill. Never mind. Okay, so I can at least have a ram, but that should at least make it so it's a bit easier for us to try and uh, take that city. Uh, but I'm curious, what does it cost for this? Again, I forget that to Mac Opportunity Mission. We don't have that available just yet. And this is uh, my son here. I made him a merchant, so I'll gladly actually, you know, give you trading. Because um, I already have the other skill uh, pretty easily from my my family. So there's no reason to try and get that anywhere else. Now, let's just yes, see. Wanna, how much does it cost for this? Hire for wars. 6,000 and an upkeep of 90. No, thank you. I, I can has been finished, fight this sir. myself. I can fight this myself. It does. It shouldn't have that large of a force down here, hopefully. Ah. Uh, that's... That's Sardina who's there. Die. A diplomatic but hopefully they'll ignore arrived. me. Let's see. You guys demand me to attack. Sir, we have spotted enemy troops marching not right now. Our lands. I'm already in one war. I'm not going to join a second war just yet. So if let me focus on this first, and then maybe we'll join in on that as well. Hopefully Sardina will ignore us, and I'll be able to freely try and take Florence here. Because at the moment, seems like... I'm hoping that the batter is actually doing more damage. It seems like it is. Ah, and even the Genoese are joining in on this fight, too. Nice. Glad they're joining in, guys. I can use that your help here. Fine day uh, Sardina going to join in here in this fight here? Nope, they're defenses. staying around the area. And they're actually deciding to fuck off. Thank you. But soon, you guys should be able to take that relatively soon. In the meantime, I'm actually about to start getting some elite troops, too. Because I'm actually starting to get the Royal Armory upgrade around here. And I'll Enemy soon be able to start trying to recruit lands. these guys as well. I'll be getting the heavy armor smiths next after that. Alrighty, let's have you guys begin the assault let's on Florence. This, this is heavily one-sided. We were able to completely starve you guys out. So Florence will fall to us. We've we now control the region. And you, how much does it have? You have a 70% chance for yours. I will have you try and establish order, my good sir. Well, actually, I should re-wait. Germany's going to hate me again for this. I don't really care too much, but yeah, try and establish order here. I was planning to do that anyway. And then I can try and add another region into my lands. It's probably about going to be as uh, much as we expand in this war. I think actions. one settlement Sire, per war we have completed is relatively safe for us to expand arrived. into um, without pissing off too many factions and weakening ourselves overall. So it seems that, okay, there's a lot going on right now. It seems that Sardinia wants to accept a peace with us. I will say yes. Why not? They said it was a mistake to join Germany. I love that. Um, and the Pope wants us to lead a crusade against, where are you guys? I want to know where you are. A new building I'm has tempted been to lead a crusade. Should we lead a crusade? I'm a little worried about my areas. You know what? Let's, let's, let's lead a crusade. Fuck yeah. Our recent actions. We'll lead a crusade. Beware. So, a new crusade I am now is crusade on Franco of France. Oh, why am I sounding French? That's wrong. Uh, this is probably going to be the last thing my king does, because uh, where is he? Is coming. Where is he? He's, uh, oh, actually. Oh! I don't even command him. He goes off on his own. Oh, cool. He is actually going to lead that crusade himself. That's cool. Okay. So this might be the last thing you do as my king, as you were getting pretty up there. I'm starting to try and groom my son for command and uh, command of my faction uh, as soon as he comes of age. Uh, you know, I'm also going to try and talk to Germany. I think it's time to talk to you guys and see if you guys will sign in peace. And actually, you know what? I'm going to demand tribute from you guys. I'm going to demand... Mm, of... <laughs> Should I try the vassalized bitch option? Our enemies have bent the knee. <laughs> the war is over. I've now vassalized it, uh, Germany. Increased. Sire, we've pleased <laughs> our Get nobility. Our that. army's opinion um, has improved. Sure, I have uh, now vassalized Germany. <laughs> okay, that's great. That's that's absolutely fucking grand. That I've now gotten. The Genoese are angry. Oh, why? Oh, that's why. You're, you're pissed off that I get made a truce with them. I vassalized them. I forced them to be vassalized under me. So a lot of people are pissed off because of that. We lead the most kingdoms now. Interesting. I am now improving in standings. I love that. Oh, I love that. Ah, so the crusade was around Palma, I see. 
I'm kind of sad that I can't Push control forward. this army for the I crusade, for which is kind of a shame. I would love to be able to actually like see these crusading armies. Like I can't even like watch it as well while it's going on, which is kind of sad. But I do love that I can like tell them, hey, you guys go over here, go do a crusade, and then I can just kind of leave them to it and hope they succeed. Damn right, we've now become a great power now at this point. I love how literally I only have three regions and I don't intend to expand a ton. I love the fact that we've been able to vassalize Germany, and if we can keep up this with how we're going right now, and just keep forcing our hand through our economic power, because it seems like that actually is weighted rather nicely, which is great. Grown in size, Jesus my lord, Christ. My lord. Okay, Enemy so, um, have invaded our lands. there's a uh, massive ass rebellion going on over here. Interesting that that's a thing that can actually happen. Okay, well, I think my, my marshal that I currently have available right now, I'm going to bring you back to Venice. Venice has a pretty good garrison, but I will have to have it so that you guys will start trying to gather some troops around here. Because I'm a little worried about those rebellions. Our clergy's opinion a shit ton listened. of them. I actually should try and see if I can take it. Enemy wow, troops have crossed our borders. Yeah, there's a lot of these rebellions. Your They're all peasants. Fall. So if I can get some elite forces around here, building, oh, I'm going to take advantage of this. I'm do Rebels totally going to take advantage of this. Our uh, I my can't Lord. expand this just yet, not until this building finishes up. Low huh. stability plagues I'm some actually of our getting land, the city sire. from the Crusades. So I now control Palma. Nice. Okay, that's cool. Technically, it's currently loyal to the Arabic family, but this is something that after I... Um, get rid of the disorder. Any tactical it will advice? be under my control. Uh, I haven't slept Let's in see, a bed 70% for chance. Uh, it'll make it so... Uh, with kings in our region. Uh, there's nobody, so yeah. We have received Let's a diplomatic try and message. have it so we do that. Let's see. Uh, Cosmic troubles. Uh, we're not, again, not going to do anything with the tower just yet. I... Oh, actually... Uh, armies upkeep, garrison upkeep. Oh, God. I think that's because of you guys. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Five upkeep per. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, what's the problem? It's like a food results in revolt risk, so population growth. Okay, so as soon as I um, finished getting rid of this order around here, I can yeah, have you guys be done around here. Because you're just trying to establish order. Uh, I'll need the army until then. But once we're done with that, I could actually get to keep these guys. Oh, but I, mm, I can't. I can't justify it. I can't, I can't justify keeping those guys sadly or not right now, at least. Because I would love to be able to bring those guys back over here and uh, have them join in on these armies that I'm going to be using to try and get rid of these rebels. Because there's so many of them. They have three regions right now around here. That could be a great opportunity, opportunity for me to expand into this area as long as I can get some good quality troops around here. Okay, so there we go. Now you guys actually like me around here. Um... I do need to actually get rid of some of these things. Yeah, I need to get rid of these because they're not in my culture. Our clergy opinion so let's have you guys improved. get rid of that. And I should probably, you know what, let's have you guys maybe get some food around here if I can. Although this is a coastal city. So I would actually want to get the port instead. And that will allow me to get some food around here. Because I don't want to get rid of these guys. Uh, let me get rid of the peasants. And try and get rid of some of these units so that I don't have to get rid of the crusaders. Because I would love to keep them. So let's see, the Norman Cavalry, Templar Cav, Bataan Feudal Knights. I'm going to keep all these guys. So we need to get at least five food. <laughs> if I can get five food, we'll have a way to actually keep these units, which I gladly want to use to just try and help crush these rubbles over here. <sighs> my Lord Crusader has finally died. I, I am having it so that um, his son is the one that took over the army now, at least. You are going to be making your way back over here. And I'm going to have it so you're going to be giving. I at least was able to retrain some of the units, like the Norman Cav and the Halberdiers. Use some really nice units that I'll be giving over to this army here. They'll be using to try and push back against the uh, rebels. I'm going to try and see if we can try and take this settlement here. See if we can take advantage of these great rebellions. Because, again, these are all led by peasants for the most part. And it does look like some other factions uh, are trying to take advantage of this. So I want to try and get in there before they get all of the rewards out of this. So I am ready. More rebel scum yeah, have joined the famous so rebellion. Almost, uh, everybody keeps doing that. Um, ooh, what is this about, actually? Um, you hope you'll raise an over the clans of blood daughter. Wait. Mm. 
Genoe Genoa is trying to claim Venice. No. My lord, war has I, been declared. I'm, I'm not letting you take fucking Venice. A foreign kingdom has made claims to our lands. Our merchant's opinion has You do not enough. get to claim Venice, my capital, from this. Hell no. Hell no. I guess I'm going to uh, not be joining in on, against that uh, famous rebellion just yet. The Sardinians are also trying to claim stuff too. Fuck you. Sire, <laughs> no! War has been no. Declared upon us. I'm not going to honor this. This land stays in my territory. How dare you try and take that away from me? No. No. Go to war with me. All the fu all you fucking want. I will not accept this. What I have command? some pretty good armies around here. You guys have some okay armies here too. I'm going to hope this doesn't fuck me over, honestly. Because, I know, I, I'm not giving up any of my land. None of it. Uh, I wonder if I can convince you guys just to fuck off. Um, I think I'm stronger than Sardinia, so I don't care about them as much. But I can maybe try and talk to Genoa. And uh, sign peace. I will um, offer money. Offer you gold to get you to fuck off. Will that be enough? No. I hate that I can't even have that be an option. Like, say, hey, can we not... Uh, can we please not actually have to do this like this? Okay, but no. That's not going to be the case. But hey... I don't think they're going to be able to really do much. I have really good garrisons like, all my goddamn cities, so I do yes. not think this is going to be too much of an issue. Food. Oh, the famous rebellion is over. Damn it. I missed my opportunity to try and take advantage of that. And actually, it looks like, uh, yeah, Bavaria is now just strengthened there. But that's okay, I guess. I, I, I am... Uh, friendly with them, so even if the rebellion is no longer there, received a diplomatic that's message. Fine. I would have just liked to have been able to take advantage of that land, but now we just have to try and deal with Genoa and uh, Sire, Sardinia, who completed honestly I could just conquer because they're deciding to try and take my authority. shit. And now the siege of Genoa begins. Hopefully, they don't decide to bring anybody else to try and reinforce them around here. As long as that doesn't happen, I should be able to we slowly but surely siege out this area and starve them to death. I brought in, I made sure to bring some battering rams with us as we're pushing on in here. So we have a good amount of damage we can do to the city. We now just need to starve them out. If I do, like at the moment, they're busy with rebels. So as long as they're distracted over there long enough, I will be able to take Genoa. And that's about as far as I think I'll push in to try and take advantage of this war. Alrighty. The enemy I had to break the siege here. on Genoa. They had an army coming from the north. So we're going to have to fight Only this, break them off, and try and push them back. Victory. Because otherwise, this is not going to do well. well for us. Uh, I think they might technically be able to bring the force that was in the city out as well. I'm not sure. I hope not. But what we're going to try and do is I have a lot of cav. They have a lot of skirmishers. So ideally, what I'll be able to do is try and push on into them and harass them. And actually, yeah, they do have a reinforcing army here too. He'll be able to join them in. What I'm going to hope is I've got some really good units. I'm going to have my forces stay back here. You guys are going to hold. None can I'm going to have it so that you way. guys will try and make your way over here. I can at least try and focus life. on their skirmishers. I'll move my infantry up as well. Sire, our enemies were reinforced in battle. Get you guys up here to kind of move, move to there. A and then my Ready infantry to too. Attention. I need all of you guys to group up together. Ready please. your spears. They are flanking us! Because let's see, my cav, you guys are making your way forward. Fight. Yep, get in there against the uh, skirmishers. Let's see if you guys focus on the cav units there. We could focus, try and just focus down the lord. If we can take him out too, the entire enemy army will break, I believe, given the way it's described in the past. Get you March on to. Move. Let's get my archers up closer. Like you guys can right way. there. We must protect you guys our there. from the enemies. Yeah, you guys are doing fight. fine there. Yeah, my cap's doing really well. Okay, try and take out the Lord there if you can. Focus him. This cab, as soon as you're done with them, I'm going to bring you over to try and break him. My archers are starting to unload. Infantry, get into melee with these guys. You try and go there. Yeah, shoot the rams all you want. The rams are easy to get rid of, uh, replace. You guys should make your way back over here. Hit those archers. Ready to fight. Okay, distract them. Move that arm. I'm about to hit these guys. Shatter them. Command. The enemy reinforcements are really slow, which is None great. The Lord's already almost dead, way. too. My cab's strong enough they can actually kick his ass. The yeah, bounce power is going in our favor. These guys over here are breaking. You guys are doing well there. 
Come on, the enemy lord's almost dead. Our swords are at your command. And then I just need to focus my attention on to the reinforcements after this. Ready to fight. So we'll get Step over here to help those against those skirmishers too. Ready your spears. Focus on this one that you're next to right now. These guys are about to break here. Uh, that lord is fight. actually down. Right okay, so here. it doesn't end the battle if it's just if they have two armies. Okay, so start trying to focus on their enemy remainders. I got some cap here, here, here. Uh, these guys are almost done over here. Attack. Yeah, finish them off. Okay. So now, it's just the enemy reinforcing army primarily. You need to help finish off this one archer. So we've taken out one army, now we just need to take out the other. Which Cav is trying to finish off that. I need to regroup my infantry together. Let's see if you guys go up there, right fight. there. This army... Yeah, they've got peasants. Two archers, some peasants, a lot of peasants. A lot of infantry too. Okay. So as long as I can get my guys to like reform, we should be fine here. And they're just gonna we send up their lord. Sure. Point. Let's get you guys rushing over here and try and help out with that. Uh, you Ready guys try and get in melee with these Ready guys if you can. Spears. Archers, Ready focus all your attention onto the lord run, run, or the peasants run. that are gonna be trying to fight Watch my cav over here. Us. Get all my other right cav over here too. Trying to get you guys down this way to regroup with us. Oh, do hit those archers. Way. Those guys are vulnerable. Stacking pretty nicely there with the range support that we have here. Ready to fight. You guys go there. You go right there. Let's get you down this way. Enemy troops are attacking our leader. You guys almost done with the archer. Come on, my leader. I believe in you. As long as we take out their lord, we should be fine here. I'm gonna take a lot of damage, and I might want to come back and recover. Enemy archers are trying to stop our breach. You guys have no ammo, I guess, now at this point. Okay. Go help out against the peasants. You should slaughter the peasants while you go. Attention! How you guys doing? Those cattle almost done up here? Uh, they are. Okay. You guys get back over this way then. I'll have you uh, finish off those archers, then loop around, and we'll finish off of these guys. Because at this point, I think we've pretty much got the battle on at, uh, under our control. So you need to finish those guys off and take out the, the lord enemy too. Troops are losing hope quickly. Oh, head one of my guys. Troops have abandoned the battlefield. Because okay, the they've got a little bit left. They've got some infantry. I must be well protected. Get you out of there. After me, men. I need to shut up before the battle's actually over. Because they don't have much now at this point. So you get my lord out of there. Make sure you don't die. Our leader is under attack. Yeah, get out of there. Yeah, regroup. The enemy is taking our capture point. That's good. Yeah, we'll definitely have to pull back after this and uh, recover. Move that off. Because at this point in time, um, I now. Yeah, just all of you guys focus on the lord. My lord just kind of run Off around. Me, and as soon as you guys can finish him off, we've won this battle. Because they should give up at that point. From there, we can watch the battle. Beware of ambush! Our enemies there we are in go. disarray as we killed okay. their leader. So we won the battle around Genoa. Took a lot of damage. Uh, but I did beat them all back. Now we just have to. Our army I'll approved probably get of our recent actions. After this, and uh, recover because let's see, you guys here. I am ready. Took a lot of damage, Genoa. I'm curious. I have arrived, sire. There's still I we have personally. Received a diplomatic message. Oh, what is it? What's the diplomatic message? This is from Flanders. Uh, let me think about that. I'm well, I can just ignore it. Um, but no. Now I'm hoping that maybe we can just win this fight quickly. And there's no other armies that we might have to face, because that does reduce the amount of men they now have in the city. Because I can go all the way back here to recover, or lands. I can just win the fight around Genoa, take the city, and then I will recover around here. Um, there's some mercenaries too. I don't have enough money for that right now, though. Okay, they brought in some reinforcements. I will lead this fight again, matched. and I should be able to win this, because I believe, again, it's very similar. It's, well, it's the remnants of the forces we just fought. And then also, on top of that, there was just, like, one tiny little unit uh, that decided to try and liberate the city here. But hopefully, we'll be able to just destroy the remainder of the garrison that they have. And then just walk on into Genoa after this. That's my hope, at least. That's my hope. Because I'm definitely trying to... I'm kind of pushing this, where I probably should have just pulled back, recovered, and then came back. But... I want to go big and go home. I, I, I want... I want to just take Genoa as soon as I possibly can. Because that's another really good city for us. Because of the fact that it is another coastal city. Any coastal city I want. Especially for the benefits that we're going to get for our trade. I, I need coastal settlements. I need a lot of coastal settlements. Or I just need very key coastal settlements that have key resources that would be very beneficial for us.
I have a bad feeling about this. Now, let's see. So the enemy is attacking our siege camp. So they are trying to sally out here to attack us. <laughs> sure, I have our I have ammo again on my units. These are all crap. And like you have like what one other you dude over here? Yeah, that's that's fine. Come at me. Because as soon as this guy's in range, I'm just going to have all my Ready archers focus him down. Because you guys... Yeah, hit, hit, sure, hit that Raise thing. I don't know why you guys focus on the ram so much. That's fine. Because now I can just unload on you and Drops. surround you with my cavalry. Because I think actually as soon as this guy's dead, um, I'll actually probably win the fight. Because he's technically the one leading this the assault. Because they get that... Oh, that was a good charge. That's a good charge there. Yeah, you guys are already almost dead. Yeah, archers just unload into these infantry units. Because for the most part, we're slaughtering everybody else. <laughs> this was a slaughter. I love it. Enemy leader is dead. Wow. His forces surrendered. You could have just let me let me sit there, guys, and just keep sieging the city. You would have done more damage than uh, that. Sire, we've conquered another province. Oh, it just is automatically mine now. Awesome. It was. Loyal to me originally, so I guess I'll if it's already loyal to you, kingdom, it just automatically comes goes over to you on that. that. So now I wonder if I can tell Genoa to fuck off and maybe get them to stop fighting me. Cause think about that. Don't care about all those. But yeah, we won the siege. Our army was able to survive. We did lose one of my cab units, sadly, which is kinda sad. But once. I'm okay with that. We have done quite a bit now. Um I will have to just get another cab unit at some point. I can probably just grab another one of the ones over here. The Royal Armory. Yeah, because I have to be over there. But hey, Genoa is now ours. Genoa is now going to be a really good city for population, for sure. Because you guys around this area have access to some saltpeter. But I think besides that, I know I want to get a merchant guild around here. I very much want to get a merchant guild around here, because you guys have a lot of settlements around I this area. What you requested, but, let's see. Hey, Genoa. Can I talk to you now? Let's see. Audience. Uh, sign peace. I'm going to demand tribute. And I'm going to demand vassalization. <laughs> <laughs> nah, damn it. I was hoping that you guys would maybe accept that. The enemy grows stronger, my lord. Burgundy joined the war against us too. Fuck. Okay, well, this army, uh, I'm going to pull you back. You need to pull back. Actually, don't no, go all the way back to... Uh, go all the way back to Venice. That way you can get some proper units and replenishment. And then you'll be ready to go. Some of our lands are and at this point, I'm lord. just going to hold what I've got. There's no reason for me to continue trying to push further than this. And I think Money this would be a good place for us to like just kind of hold until they decide, what hey, we'll give up. We're done. Um, but yeah, let me grab... I have, I'm going to grab another archer, actually. I have, I have plenty of cav. This is replenish those guys. Strategy. And there you go. So this army now, just go back over to Genoa. And basically, as long as I can hold this area long enough, they should give up. Because they haven't been able to do any damage to us at all, really. And I can hold here. I can just take advantage of the fact that I have a lot of money and a lot of troops and just defend what I have. Lord. Ah, Sardinia, you guys want peace. You know what, I'll accept it. Our Why not? Has come to an Because end. I've now ended that one war, I'm now at war still with Genoa, but that balance of power is going a little bit more in my favor. Also, something I just noticed that I realized I can get. I can get these crossbowmen. I love it. I just need to get a master armor around here, which I'm intending to do. I'm very much intending to do that because I've got a lot of settlements and castles in this area too. So I can get a lot more for my manpower if I put a royal armory in Genoa. Ah, it seems that Savoy has decided to finally offer peace as soon as I was about to take advantage of them advancing into my lands. But no, they're leaving. That means it's just me versus Genoa. And Genoa over here does not have the most Pagan going for it. You guys have a province of ours shit ton of peasants, a light infantry, light spearmen, and everything like that. I personally think I'm going to take you guys over here and try and engage them. I would like to take this city. It has a lot. It has barrels. That's the main thing I desperately do need from them is barrels, charcoal. They've got a lot of trade resources over here that I need especially to be able to upgrade my ports, because I think it was barrels is the main thing I'm missing right now. Uh, yeah, if I get barrels, I can get uh, that. Um, I need salt and barrels to get that. You guys need timber for one of those. This one needs ink, I don't have ink yet. But no, I need barrels. So if we can get over there, which again, this army, primarily all peasants, um, I should be able to very easily crush you guys with this force should of mine. We march? And maybe even lure out the garrison as well to crush them. 
Because I'll lead the this fight. Stands no chance. The fights that have a lot of peasants, I want to lead myself, honestly, because then my infantry, my cav, I mean, can slaughter them. I do have a lot of archers in this army, too, or more archers than I did last time. So, ideally, well, I might just try and focus down the lord. <laughs> Focusing down the lord this is, is the really the, the best way to army. kind of go about this, it seems like. And fight. they are going to have reinforcements coming on in. So, let's have it so that my cavalry... You guys are going to get kind of move on over to the side here. The calf kind of at do. your command. And they are slowly making their way over to us. The Lord is in the back. I might just go try and Sire, do some our enemies were reinforced in battle. I don't care they're being reinforced. They're being reinforced Prime with the shit. Ready. Like, honestly, like, you guys can advance over here, but there's so many peasants. There's like one good unit, one archer, and that's it. And then I've got like three oh, heavy targets. archers. I've got the high ground. You guys will try and attack my, fight. um, you guys will try and actually Archers, get my, ready. uh, rams here, which I can utilize to my advantage. Ready your spears. So, like, you guys, ready to fight. Uh, I don't want you guys to move there. Actually, just kind of stay as you are for right now. Otherwise, you'll just move up like idiots. So, let's have you guys just kind of wait for them. Archers, primarily, Archers, for sure. Ready. Wait for Face their lord their and just focus him down. Yeah, let's get run, you guys over there. Run, run. Let's get all my cav to try and rush on in here. Enemy cavalry incoming. Get over there. Archers are making their way forward. Ready your Infantry spears. move up too. Try moving faster. This is the Lord. I'll need to take out both lords. But all my cap rush on in here and try and focus him down. None my cap is doing in our way. Right uh, he's doing a little bit more damage now. Ready you guys get in there. That's the one good unit here is you two. Flanked. You guys are gonna try and flank us there. That's fine. Get to you in here too to try and help out against the Lord. All the peasants shouldn't matter too much. Break him, and then the morale for this army should break through. Attack. Look at that one archer they've got around there. These are all just peasants over here. Are you right now? Ready to fight. You should try and flank that one guy over there. Okay, their lord's almost down. He's now down. I must be Let's get my cab out of here. Run, run, run. I need you guys. Oh, what the hell are you doing? Run You're not here. supposed to be Watch out. You were supposed to be helping. Us. Instead, let's have you kind of loop around. Let's go up here, try and hit the archers, because that's what we need to try and focus on now. So get them. You guys focus on the infantry there. Cav, all make your way over here. Let's see, there you got some guys. There we'll want to open up on, because they're just trying to hit my battery man, that's fine. I don't care about the capture point. It doesn't fucking matter to me. The capture point is literally worthless here. Because at the moment, they're not going to be able to take them all all at once. And then the enemy reinforcements, let's see what they've got. So this reinforcing army. Those crossbows. No, there's no space for archers. Okay, so they've got four archers, one infantry unit, and their general. That is easy enough to deal with. Okay, so now it's just the remaining Your army that we need to deal with. Uh, my archers are almost out of ammo. I'm trying to have you guys use the target. rest of your ammo on their lore that they've got. Cab, you're trying to rush on in here and deal with these skirmishers. Infantry, you need to get on over this way. You guys need to run away from that unit. Because I need to have it so my infantry try and focus down their lord here. Archers, all of you, try and pull back. Yeah, pull back here, guys. Their archers are taking quite a bit of damage. Yep, their lord is now being attacked by my infantry. There you go. The enemy is cowering. Hey, come on, break. I dare you. Yeah, because you guys are running them down. Hopefully with the rest of your ammo, you'll be able to take out the Lord. He's almost dead. I don't care about the capture point. Literally, it doesn't matter. Uh, they're going to charge in there, but my infantry... Yeah, you're not going to be able to beat my archers there. There we go. Okay, so now, he should die any second, and then that should be it. And it is. We've slain so, the enemy. We've now leader. been able to push them back here, and now we can claim uh, this settlement. I kind of feel it's, just, it's interesting that we've been actually fighting far more wars than I would have wanted to, with the fact that I want to try and uh, dominate the everything with just my money. Oh, good. You guys did a decent amount of damage there. So now, my take my force. Leash. Didn't take that much damage here. You guys can siege it, and there's not that much left. So we should be able to siege this there out. Um, and is this city? I'm curious. Um, I can't tell right now, but I'm curious if they're loyal to me or not. Alrighty. They're trying to attack us. It says it is overwhelming. I don't know about that. This is their, uh, one of their, this is their faction leader right now, too. If I can kill him, none of this matters. <laughs> That's the hope. He's got a big army. 
I don't know if it's a good quality army or not. Um, and I hope it's not. If it is, though, um, I'm fucked. <laughs> oh, so fucked. Uh, I, I should hope that it is not, though. Because if it isn't uh, a crazy army, I mean, if anything, I'm just hoping I can focus him down. If we can focus him down, it shouldn't matter. As long as he dies, the rest of the army should not matter at all, and we should be able to still take the city. This is not good. So let's see. The enemy has received reinforcements. So they've got their reinforcements from the city, but then the force he's got... Nah, that's a good army. The main thing I've got to do is I've got to make sure that we kill him. Awaiting target. So I'm going to do this. So we're going to make sure. We are on our way. Pull my guys back here. Pull back my rams Plan as ready. well. And have it. So we're going to try and defend this area back Push. here. Because they Push. really love to attack my rams. So we're going to try and take advantage of that. Ready and if I can, spears. I want to make sure that my archers are going to be able to focus down Ready the wall. Because that's the main gates. goal right now. Kill him, and the Awaiting battle's mine. Orders. Okay, here he is. This is the moment of truth. I'm fight. having all my men and focus and simply fight. him. As long as he dies, we win the fight. So let's get you guys to try and run the, run the side. Archers are trying to unload on him, distract them with the ram, and then see if we can take you out. This should be the King of Genoa. That we're gonna try and kill and make him regret his insolence for deciding to uh, request that they get Gen uh, Venice from me. Because how fucking dare you try and claim the Republic of the Venice from the Republic of Venice? So no. And I think my archers are just about to finish off their lord. Come on, yeah, keep doing that. Keep it up. Keep focusing him down. Cav, keep focusing on their archers. Just keep distracting them. Oh, he's almost dead. He's almost dead, but my infantry, my infantry's holding well. I need you guys to keep holding like that. Uh, try and hit this guy in the back here, so he's gonna stop flanking us. Our enemies Fuck you! Disarray as we killed their leader. <laughs> that is, that is way too broken. That I can just target the Lord, focus him down, and I just win the battle automatically. Like armies have conquered a province. Yeah, that's beautiful. This is now mine. 50% uh, chance of establishing have problems order. with the foreign population. Not the best, you know, Rebel but uh, I, I, I'll take it. I think we can establish order. We should be okay. Um, For the technically, crown. that means that they're going to be pissed off right away. That's fine. Oh no, a rebellion! Whatever shall I do? Order, you guys are gonna get slaughtered. Opinion you guys get absolutely slaughtered. Them. They're just peasants. Has but I will now, after this, arrived. be able to now take control of this city. And I think this will be the most I do. Ooh, a ransom offer. Our fame has declined. Let's see. Uh, we we'll pay no you 1,600 gold. Yes, power. I'll accept 1,600 gold for that. Uh, I do not need your help with rebels. Our clergy's opinion has. Risen. I really need to just always say I'll think about it because it still declines it, but it doesn't piss people off when I do that. The enemy will fall. Yeah, you guys are about to finish that off. There was another rebellion around here. You guys are getting better. They're now almost all uh, doing well there. I'm now curious because again, this is going to be probably the last piece of expedition expansion I personally try and do. Unless somebody decides to attack me again, I might. If like if you guys keep trying to attack me, I will defend myself, and uh, it's just uh, op very opportunistic for me to do so. But I have a lot of money, and now that I'll be having access to barrels, I should be able to get even more cash flowing in. Ah, We've won our I was now able our to force Genoa has to uh, become We've my vassal. <laughs> I love how I'm just forcing so many people to be fucking my fucking vassal um, to end this war. So, my war with them is now ended. They were just about to get Barcelona to join on in, too, so fuck them. Uh, but now we have control of this region here, and I have a new vassal. What land does Genoa even still control at this point? Because this is me, and then I have a lot of vassals. Genoa has... Oh, that's all you guys have left down there is right now is just that. But no, nah, man, I have some pretty strong vassals. I'm not. I'm not. I'm pretty happy about that. I wonder if we can get more. <laughs> We've pleased our merchants. Because honestly, at this point in time, like controlling a bunch of uh, vassals and just having a lot of trade going on, it's probably the best way for me to get to my victory conditions of hey, have a shit ton of gold. And at a long last, we've now lost Our my merchant king, and now we have a diplomat, we which is going to be interesting in to see no how that's going to help us. But, at the moment at least, I think this is perfect. This will allow me to try and use my vast amount of wealth to now suggest people to become my vassals or other things to increase our power even further.
Holy shit. Uh, my son is a fucking genius. Prince Van. He's a plus five in everything. Well, I'm going to make you a merchant because you must rule the world through economic might. <laughs> Let's do that. Because, man, that guy is crazy to think about right now. So far, we've been just having a nice old time building up the kingdom. I have making quite a bit more money now. Now I've been able to finally get some um, trading ports and merchants guilds set up. I now make a pretty sizable amount of money. Still trying to get all the trade resources I want. Because I know I, I need to get ink still. Iron and gunpowder I still don't have. I just want to be able to get all of these so I can start getting even more money. Even more trade. Because I already have a lot of access to trade right now. Because of all the things I have built around here. The Pope um, has called for a crusade. And at the moment, I'm still just focusing on just holding Our what I have. have spotted a I'm tempted a foreign to start trying to expand a little bit more. There haven't been any good opportunities quickly. just yet. Careful, and I have to wait until these defensive famous. packs against me go away first. Ah, uh, yes. Now the defensive pact that I had with the, uh, the Spaniards has been triggered. I guess I have to help them. Well, I don't mind taking some more land for myself. Let me be an opportunistic bastard as always. Let's go take a Marcel then. This area over here, let's see, access to... Eh, pretty much about the same thing that I have around here with uh, Nice. I do need to get uh, salt. Salt is one of the main resources I still really desperately need at the moment the clergy, to properly has been actually finished, expand sir. our trade opportunities right now. Because we're doing well. I'm making a decent chunk of money. I'm making about 500 per turn right now. I'm tempted a to see. Camp was I don't know if I'll be able to do this, but lands. I want to try and see if I can convince um, France to become vassalized by me when this war is over. Is I already convinced wish? Germany. Why can't I convince France too? Oh, um, I may be... I did not realize, I guess, the Emperor of the World voting is happening. Uh, well, obviously, I think I should vote for myself as opposed to the Fatimids. Um, I did not realize that this was ongoing, but... Yeah, proceed to next voter. Oh, uh, why is that going down? Oh, it's, uh... Mm. I did, uh, I did just piss off France. Yeah, that's true. We are at war with them right now. Ah. Uh... Neither of us is anywhere near the amount we need, but there are a lot more people voting for me as opposed to everybody else. Come on. Come on. Vote for me. So no emperor has been chosen at this time. That's fine. I don't intend to try and win this campaign through um, becoming the emperor of the world. I intend to win it through money. <laughs> That's my current goals, at least. Alrighty, I think it is time for yes. us to begin our advance towards Marcel. My sword is yours, Let's sire. bring both my armies over here. Hopefully it'll be enough that you guys should not have an issue pushing on into the settlement and claiming it. Because for the most part, right now, I intend that basically what we're going to be continuing to do. If we have any battles uh, or wars More that give us opportunities to expand. To our battle. I'm our only going to care if it actually gives me a a access a to a princess. coastal settlement. As long as that happens, that's all that matters for me. Because then I can continue to uh, add, add into more of my um, my commerce resource here by just having a shit ton of ports, and I can continue to expand my trade that way. The goals I set out, if I remember correctly, it was supposed to be two hundred thousand was uh, the amount I had to have in my treasury to consider that I'm victorious on the mercantile front, and I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm making. 500 per turn, or 500 whatever it is per second, Our goal, and sire. I'm actually getting to the point where I can't keep, I, there's some things I just can't upgrade right now, like literally I'm just trying to get more of the resources so I can actually upgrade everything. Okay, I have a chance for a peace with France here, but I'm tempted. I'm going to say decline, and I'm going to say, let's be reasonable, we won't, we both want you peace, but uh, let's see, minus, okay, the so they want to possibly send no 11,000 gold to me. I'm going to say no. Of our clergy now, dwindles, let me try and see. Sign separate peace. I'm going to demand tribute. No, I'm going to demand uh, sign separate peace. Um, I can't demand that. Okay, let's demand tribute. Vassalization. Our war has come to an Holy end. fucking shit, that worked. Why is it so likely that people will accept that shit? Our nobility. Why? I now have a fucking France as well. I just vassalize under me. Perished as its okay. Leader fell yeah. dead. Uh, although, that does me actually, right now. Tyrol took out Germany. 
So my vassals are not nearly as strong as they once were. So I think that might be why, because like you guys are not insanely strong. You're strong, but not insanely strong. But hey, I've got another vassal now. Just why the fuck not? Inflation is a fucking thing in this game. How dare you? I am making less money now because I have an excessive amount of gold in my treasury. I can now see why having 200,000 is actually a rather difficult endeavor. Huh. Because you have 43% inflation. Jesus fucking Christ. Well, that's great. It's just going to continuously slowly go down, I guess, until I, like, what, plateau at some point? Alrighty, I think it has been t high time that we start taking advantage of our obscene amounts of wealth. So, I've hired some mercenaries, and we're going to start trying to utilize that to try and expand into areas that might give us some more opportunities for resources. And I would think, right now, hey, similar to real-life Venice, let's go into Greece and kind of like, hey, go to like Irkulon. I want to have roads for sure at some point as well. Uh, looks like you guys do actually have some troops around here. Although, that's quite a few peasants. I don't really think I'm going to care about that. But, you know, no, let's just start trying to conquer over here. I was able to hire at least two mercenary companies. They'll aid me along with my uh, current prince that I have. So we'll try and take these areas around here first. We'll try and capture three settlements initially until we can secure those. And then I think we'll kind of hold off on expansion. Then kind of just can keep that uh, idea of that process up. Take a little bit of land consolidate and secure it and then try and every once in a while when we see more mercenaries just keep hiring them because i have so much money now oh, i'm trying go, to just Shia. spend it because i need to get up to that 200k amount and at the moment it's either i spend it on upgrading cities which i've literally upgraded everything i can without resources or i spend it on mercenaries so why not use it on mercenaries to just conquer more shit so we were able to take Thessalonica and also Athens, but once my faction leader, my king, died, ah, uh, my friends who We've married into my family China. decided to start trying I'll to demand land of me, again, and um, I decided to use this as another opportunity to just take shit from them, as I am now slaughtering you guys here. Most of this army is just archers from what I remember here, but now I'm going to just freely claim all your shit around here, <laughs> gladly. I think I'm honestly probably just going to maybe, well... No, I don't have enough. I don't have enough uh, people right now to do it. But I'm going to be taking all three of these pieces of land from you guys before Armies I accept some sort of piece of you guys. Because at this point in time, oh, 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 oh. honestly, this is a great use uh, from my experience, at least, as a way to forcibly, well, defensively expand. Because I can get the enemy to. Well, technically, it is to be just betrayed an ally, but it's like, hey. You liked me, you're going to make some sort of demand on me, declare war on me, and then I can just take I'll land from you bucks. with no issues, honestly. So, I'm not opposed to it. Ah, wonderful. We've now taken all this land. Oh, yes, you have some rebels over here. I don't care about that. And you guys are asking for peace. Hmm. I'm going to say no, because I'm going to instead. Let's see. So, you guys are... Uh, white peace offer. What if we trade with you... No, this is what I'm going to do instead. So I'm going to decline that offer, and what I'm going to do instead is force you guys to be vassalized. Sign peace and demand tribute. Um, vassalization. <laughs> we have won a war. Just everybody we have increased has to be vassalized by me. My lord. If you so go I against me, I take your shit, and then I vassalize you. It works out wonderfully. So I just have even more vassals. I now have more land that we can now develop uh, and try and just make more money off that. Ah, of course, now I'm at war with Bulgaria, which actually coincidentally, is wonderful for me as Venice, as they currently control Constantinople. I don't mind if I do. I, I just want that, and then I'm going to be so happy with you. Because so far, with the time that we were able to build up a little bit more, we added it's in a couple convincing. more traditions Your to our kingdom. Uh, stewardship and, and also a negotiation. This one specifically helps reduce the effects of inflation. So we'll be able to get more money in that regard. Um, this one is going to be able to make it so I can get more merchant skill income. And we've now gotten to the point where... Not that. Um, our our advantages. advantages. We now have advantages goods. with masonry. And we almost have the one with mercantilism, which also reduces inflation even more. So if we can get that, we'll greatly be able to easily get to the point where we need to to be able to get all the money we want. I'm already making a thousand gold per turn now, so it's only a matter of time. But in the, for right now, with Bulgaria, hmm, I don't know, I've got some, uh, hey, mercenaries. Uh, well, I need to save up uh, some money, so then I'll send you guys out there and just keep sending mercenaries at Bulgaria for right now, and eventually I'll try and take Constantinople. Huh, we have been excommunicated for what reason? 
Like, seriously, why have we been excommunicated? Sure, I've been throwing mercenary army after mercenary army after mercenary army at Bulgaria, but um, I, I don't see the reason why that should excommunicate me. We've been able to, currently, because of endless waves of mercenaries, push on in into Orid. We've taken that area now. And I think at this point, I'm now going to try and... Uh, as soon as you guys can report, this is a good strategy. Take once. you guys all up. I am I'll send you over to Constantinople and see if we can take it. Once we have Constantinople, I'll offer them, well, vassalization is the usual thing I do with them, just because why the fuck not? Ah, uh, beautiful. You guys are at the point where you're going to want to try and ask for peace now. I'm going to say no. Not until I have taken the Constantinople and I'm then going to decide to uh, vassalize them at that point, because they should be willing to accept it at that Their point. The siege is going well, crumble. and it should just be a matter of time until it falls. Okay, we finally secured Constantinople for ourselves, and I think now is the time to say, Hey, Bulgaria, how would you guys like to end this war? Sign peace, I'm going to demand tribute that you are vassalized, because why the hell not? I vassalized no so fighting. many people. Like, if we now go to... Sire, Venice is a superpower just with the vassals the I have. And I have a Q few, key, very important cities. Like we've got uh, Meissen, we've got France, we've got Carinthia, and now we have Bulgaria under me as well, which is just great. We continuously vassalize people that pissed me off and just add them to the pile of, hey, you're now going to continuously goal, make me more sire. money. And... At this point in time, now we're getting to the point where I think I might, hopefully I won't have to deal with inflation nearly as much, and I might be able to finally get to the point where I want to, so we can actually make enough money to get the victory condition that I set out for myself. Ooh, I finally have a chance to try and claim some land for through inheritance. Naples and Cagliari, both areas I do want, so we I will gladly try and claim that. And wow, they gave them to the me. Of a great power. <laughs> Fuck yeah, <laughs> there we go. Oh, yes. My power continues to grow just because I have can throw so much money around. I fucking love it. Like, I'm making 1100 per turn now. Now I need to try and develop these areas and see how much I can get after you guys are properly set up. Ah, uh, thank you, Savoy and Tyrol, for deciding to attack me for no apparent goddamn reason. Besides the fact that I've excommunicated. Where now I'm just going to be able to take Torino and Milan for myself and continue to expand, because at the moment, I just want to keep looking at them. the world. The world, I actually almost have all of Italy now at this point, wow. Being very passive, and only focusing on defensive wars, or vassalizations, or be taking land from people that demand land from me, uh, we've actually turned Venice into a strong little powerhouse here, I really like it. And if I can get a goddamn moment to just be at peace for a while, I can slowly, but surely, get to the point where I can... I think I might be able to get there, or pretty oh, close now. Sire. I make a lot of money uh, so far from vassals and my taxes, and even up to, to like, 15,000, I don't see inflation get start uh, kicking up at all yet. So, honestly, we might be able to get cl a bit closer now. I have to at least see, like, where we can get now with the advantages that we have at the moment. Our Why do I keep putting my words with vassalizations? I usually keep offering it just because. But it worked again. The of our there we go. I've now, um, let's see, so I now have, my lord. so let's see, so I've got, yeah, Mason, France, Corinthia, Tyrol. Did Bulgaria, oh, is Bulgaria dead? Political view. Oh yeah, Bulgaria is dead. A diplomatic message I was wondering, like, arrived. huh, what happened to Bulgaria? Oh, they died. Sardina just decided to take them over. I know Sardinia has been getting pissed off at me recently. I might have to vassalize them too. Honestly, am I gonna like accidentally like reform a Roman Empire? Like, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to conquer everything around me. It's just everybody wants to attack me. Oh, I see they were doing another vote, I see. So it's now between me and England. Well, let's see who's gonna win this one. At the moment, I think I have the advantage at the moment, yeah. You know, at the moment, I'm getting more. Ooh, there's a positive. There's an actual positive for once, instead of negative for everything. Oh, there's another positive for me. I don't think we're going to win this one. Yep, no, no, we're not going to win that one. But we are getting to the other victory condition at the moment, where I, oh, right gold, now, sire. I now have 30,000 in the bank. Our and last time, have spotted a this is where I struggled camp. before, where I now have enough money that I'm not even triggering inflation just yet. I'm curious when that's going to start trick, uh, kicking in for Pagan me heresy. Okay, we are finally at the point where I've now hit 100,000. I still don't have any inflation kicking in just yet. It might just be the combination uh, of the fact that I also now have goods. merchantilism as well on top of this, um, uh, as well as all my traditions. And so I think I might not have to worry about any sort of um, inflation. I think I'm going to hit the point 
where right now I just have to wait. I'm spending literally every uh, coin I've got to try and keep improving my stuff. But I do think this is probably going to be where I'll be ending this campaign soon. If I, if I do get to that point Our where I can't treasury, actually get up to 200000 without inflation kicking my ass, that'll be it. Kind of a good short and, uh, well, relatively short, <laughs> um, showcase of this game and how I know I enjoy this. I had a lot of fun with this. It's just me focusing really being defensive, really focusing on trade and money and income. Completed, and uh, it's abusable as hell just how many mercenaries I can just throw at people and how often I can just force people to be vassalized by me so they make give me even more money. It's fucking great. Like, literally, I didn't conquer much. These and yet I am one of the, well, I am man. at the moment, the top dog for pretty much everything. I'm rank one merchant, uh, commercial power, rank one trade monopoly, rank one finances. So I'm top dog, top in everything in wealth. Society, I'm rank one in statecraft, stability and food supply, and not as high. Um, and anything else, I'm really high in expansion technically. It's interesting that I'm that high, even though I really haven't been expanding that often. But no, I think I just need to give Our it some time, treasury, and we're going to hit the 200k Lord. amount, and then I'll actually complete this campaign. Match and there we go! Brilliant merchants I was able to cities. hit the amount. We our now have showcased the um, economic the might of Venice, which I like. Yeah, I, I, I really appreciate this. As someone that likes Total War and likes Crusader Kings, this is honestly, even though there's some jank in like the, the battles, I will say there's a lot of jank there. I actually really enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun. I definitely want to continue playing this game for sure. And you so I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this. In our defensive also, can, Mr. Announcer Man, can you shut up? You're really loud. I, I realized early on in the recordings that I uh, fucked up and didn't uh, adjust to you properly. But yes, please shut up for a good sir. second, good sir. I'm trying to finish the video. But no, I'm, I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this video. I, I want to try and do more little random things on my channel that are related to what I do uh, usually. And I thought this was a perfect opportunity to showcase another game that I can play and I have fun with where it doesn't have to be my long sprawling campaigns that i do in total war and it can be something more targeted and focused and so i'm hoping you guys enjoyed this uh if you guys have any other ideas um for little scenarios you think you want me to try i know i'm gonna try a reforming byzantine rome and at some point obviously but if you guys have any other ideas let me know i i'm hoping you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. That's the best way to support the channel and showcase your interest and make sure I'm, I know you guys are enjoying this. And if you, there's other links down below if you want to support my channel. But I think this video has been long enough. I'm going to end it here. So hope you guys enjoyed this. This is Rampant, and I'll see you guys next time.